I initially mentioned it to Tay. I was like, how funny would it be if I just like rolled out on one of the bikes during uh, the 1989, like that era? She started laughing. She was like, would you seriously be up for like doing something like that? And I was just like, are you what? Uh, yeah. Sure enough. She found the perfect part of the show for me to come in. Did you ever think in a million years you'd be a backup dancer? You got a lot of help. Are you kidding me? I was up there with three professionals. You can do no wrong when Taylor's on stage. One thing I told myself is do not drop the baby. The golden rule was do not drop Taylor. Get her to the couch. Say Don't drop do the football. No fumbles. The no fumbles. Is someone crying happy tears? Other than us, the trailer fans, obviously. It's none other than Travis Kels himself. And guess what? This happened in one of the most unexpected places. Taylor Swift's concert in Amsterdam with thousands of eyes on the duo. Did anyone expect this? Not me. But how long could he keep all that love inside? His emotions were bound to overflow sooner or later, especially when his bow pulled the ultimate move. So what did Taylor do to make Travis lose control like that? Let's find out. For those who don't know Travis Kels, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end was deeply moved during Taylor Swift's era's tour concert in Amsterdam, where the pop sensation delivered an emotional surprise. As Taylor took the stage at the Johan Cruyff Arena, she stunned the audience by performing a heartfelt mashup that included a rare rendition of Mary's song, Oh My My My, from her 2006 debut album. It had been nearly 16 years since Taylor Swift had last performed Mary's song, Oh My My My, making the moment all the more poignant. Throughout the unforgettable evening, Taylor showered Travis with sweet gestures and heartfelt performances that left him visibly moved and deeply touched. His attentive demeanor throughout the concert reflected his appreciation for every moment, possibly his last before the demands of the football season took over. From his spot in the audience, Travis engaged wholeheartedly with Taylor's performances, never once sitting down. His enthusiasm was palpable as he rode a bike, perhaps practicing for a playful role during blank space, a nod to their shared humor and past conversations. Taylor playfully teased him throughout the night, mimicking his touchdown moves and creating a warm, affectionate atmosphere between them. The connection between them was evident, making the night even more special for everyone watching. But that's nothing out of the ordinary for them at this point. What happened next, however, was truly surprising. The evening reached a poignant climax during the surprise song set dedicated to their anniversary. Taylor, alternating between guitar and piano, serenaded Travis with a heartfelt mashup of Sweeter Than Fiction, Holy Ground, Mary's Song, So High School, and Everything Has Changed. Each lyric struck a deep chord with Travis as he captured these precious moments on his phone. For Travis who had been a steadfast supporter throughout Taylor's tour, the evening held profound significance. Caught on camera he was visibly emotional, wiping away tears as Taylor sang lyrics that seemed to resonate deeply with him. song's words, cause all I know is we said hello slash and your eyes look like coming home slash all I know is a simple name slash and everything is change, perfectly encapsulated the intensity of the love he had found with Taylor. Throughout the concert, Travis's emotions were unmistakable. His girlfriend's tribute touched him deeply, affirming that he had found someone who loved him as passionately as he loved her. The night was a beautiful testament to their bond, with every song and gesture reflecting their deep connection and mutual affection. Brittany Mahomes, wife of Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, was also seen comforting Travis, ensuring he was okay during this heartfelt moment. However, the only true solace for him came from Taylor, who was on stage pouring her heart into her performance. Despite his initial tears, Travis was all smiles by the end of the mashup. Emotions were particularly high during Mary's song, where Taylor's lyrics, especially I'll be 87, you'll be 89 slash I'll still look at you like the stars that shine slash in the sky, oh my my my, struck a poignant chord. These lines reference Travis's football jersey number, 87, and Taylor's birth year, 1989, playfully acknowledging their connection and the milestones they shared. Taylor's nod to their bond was met with wholehearted appreciation from Travis, further highlighting the depth of their relationship. 
The night was filled with memorable moments, and Brittany's supportive presence was a testament to the strong friendships within their circle. But ultimately, it was Taylor's heartfelt performance that provided Travis with the comfort he needed, showcasing the powerful love and connection they share. Their love story, unfolding amidst the bright lights of Taylor's stage, became a highlight of the Eras tour. Fans and concert goers witnessed not just a performance, but a genuine expression of love between two individuals deeply connected through music and mutual admiration. As if that wasn't enough to keep the fans gushing, they left the arena together, hand in hand. Earlier in the tour, Travis had surprised Taylor by joining her on stage during her Wembley Stadium performance, showcasing their playful dynamic. As the music played and the crowd roared, Travis, dressed sharply in a bow tie and tuxedo, made his entrance. He gently picked up Taylor and carried her across the stage, delighting the fans. Adding to the charm, he danced a bit and helped her with her makeup, eliciting cheers and awes from the crowd. Before departing, Travis waved and grinned at Taylor, sealing the moment with a kiss. This heartwarming appearance preceded Taylor's emotional performance of I Can Do It With A Broken Heart from her latest album, Asterisk, The Tortured Poets Department Asterisk. Their shared moments on stage and off resonated deeply with fans, adding a romantic chapter to the memorable tour. The chemistry between Taylor and Travis was undeniable, leaving the audience swooning over their affectionate display, which included a heartfelt kiss from Taylor. To everyone's surprise, it was Travis's idea to join Taylor on stage, despite his slight stage fright. Their seamless and flawless execution of a challenging choreography was a testament to their connection. Travis even commented on potential mishaps during the act, showing his dedication and sense of humor. One unforgettable moment was Taylor's playful nod to Travis during a performance of Karma. Known for her attention to detail, Taylor altered the lyrics to humorously reference Travis, who had moved from his seat to the side of the stage, waving to the cheering crowd. Fans were thrilled as Travis danced the exact same choreography as the background dancers during the July 5 show at the Johan Cruyff Arena in Amsterdam. This gesture highlighted their playful banter and mutual admiration, adding layers of personal touch to their public personas. Travis, a dedicated presence at both nights of the Amsterdam shows, initially watched from a suite, unbeknownst to many fans until he surprised them by joining Taylor backstage. During the concert, Taylor altered the lyrics of Karma to sing, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs, coming straight home to me. Fans captured the moment when Travis walked toward the stage as she sang the line. In a TikTok clip, a fan excitedly shouted, It's Travis, as he waved at the audience. At the end of the show, Travis and Taylor were seen leaving the backstage area together. With Travis encouraging the crowd's cheers, he also graced the fans with a dose of Taylor Travis PDA by putting his arm around Swift and kissing her on the head. Another cute moment occurred in London while Taylor sang Lover. Travis sang along passionately, <laughs> pointing lovingly toward Taylor and himself, symbolizing their enduring closeness. These moments of affection and support between them made their love story a highlight of the tour, captivating fans worldwide. Their shared moments were not just performances but heartfelt expressions of their relationship. This was particularly evident during the iconic 1989 set, where Travis enthusiastically mimicked Taylor's moves and danced freely to every beat. His presence at multiple tour stops, from Argentina to Ireland, underscored his unwavering support for Taylor, mirroring her efforts to attend Chiefs matches. However, the third night in Argentina stood out as truly memorable, vividly captured by fans who witnessed Travis's emotional reactions to Taylor's music. But would it be the last time? We hope not. Who doesn't want to see more of this duo rocking it together on stage? Thankfully, Travis didn't dash all hopes. Who knows, might not be the last time. You guys will have to keep showing up to the Eras tour to see if I pop out of the stage or whatnot, he said. So while this duo thinks of new ways to keep us on our toes, let's leave our guesses in the comment section down below on what they might be up to now. Should we wait for another surprise appearance from Travis beside Taylor on stage? Or are they going to go a step beyond and drop the engagement bomb right on us?
drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you don't want to miss out on the hottest celebrity news, make sure to subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you want to know about Jason Kels exposing his first era's tour experience with Travis and Taylor, watch this next video.